other top cows here, but uh, the cow we're going to start with today when you get her pulled in line here is just a little more overall cow from end to end. She's got a little more uphill run, a little fuller through the midsection, just a little more length from hooks to pins. And I prefer the four on her on her today, just a little snugger in her attachment, a little more vaynation, a little more style through the side view when you get her out here on the move over the tremendous dairy open rib cow we have here in second. Cow in second, you love that square frame that she has, the beautiful drop and sweep to the rib, the width, the chest, the width back through the hooks and pins. A cow I just like to change in the forwarder a little today, maybe snug her up, neaten her up through the forwarder, and just give her a little more uh, fullness right to the top of her rear order, move her over the cow first. But uh, she uses that advantage just a little cleaner through the head and neck, a little cleaner at the point of shoulder. They were tremendously uh, balanced dairy uh, cow excels in dairy strength here in third. The cow in third, I love that uphill run. Not the biggest cow in the class, but the cow that you love, the angularity that she possesses, the uphill run, the beautiful sweep to the rib, the fullness to the rib structure when you get behind her. A cow that's just a, shows me a little more quality in her mammary system today. She carries her seam a little nicer right up to the top of her rear udder than the recently fresh cow here in fourth. Cow in fourth, just fresh about a month. Uh, a cow you love to see in about 60 days from now. You love the big, tall, long dairy frame that she possesses. A cow that moves around the ring so nicely on her hind legs. Just give, like to give her a little time to, to uh, clean up through her udder a little bit, get a little more quality the whole way through it to get up over the cows above her today.